Hello and welcome back to Revise GCSE History the number one place for your GCSE history revision. This video today is video three in the topic, the end of the Plains Indians, and the topic of this video today is specifically the massacre at Wounded Knee, which took place in 1890. Let's make a start. So the massacre at Wounded Knee in December 1890. On the morning of the 29th of December 1890, Sioux Chief Bigfoot and 350 of his followers were camping on the banks of Wounded Knee Creek. Their camp was surrounded by a force of US troops that were waiting to arrest Bigfoot and disarm his warriors. The scene was tense as trouble had been brewing for months. So what was this trouble? Let's have a look at it in a bit more detail. So, Wakova the Messiah. The once proud Sioux found their free roaming life destroyed by white Americans. The buffalo had gone, they were confined to reservations and they were dependent on Indian agents and government handouts. In a desperate attempt to return to their to the days of their glory, many found a solution in a new mysticism preached by a shaman called Wakova. So this is him here, this is Wakova. Wakova called himself the Messiah and said that the dead would soon join the living in a world which the Indians could live in, in the old way, surrounded by the buffalo. He said a tidal wave of new soil would cover the earth, bury the whites and restore the prairie as it once was and restore the traditional Indian way of life. For this to happen, for this tidal wave to happen, the Indians were to, get, were to dance the ghost dance. Many dancers wore brightly coloured shirts with images of eagles and buffalo on them. The ghost shirts, but these were the special shirts, were believed to protect them from the bullets of the US Army. During autumn 1890, the ghost dance spread through Sioux villages, creating hope amongst Indians and bringing fear to the whites. Indian agents thought the Indians were wild and crazy as they danced in the snow. They thought they needed protection and that the leaders of the ghost dance should be arrested. So, Chief Sitting Bull. This is Sitting Bull here. Sitting Bull. This is a picture of Chief Sitting Bull. So, the order went out to arrest Chief Sitting Bull. And he was at Standing Rock Reservation. Whoops, when he was arrested. So he was killed in an attempt on 15th of December. Chief Bigfoot was next on the list. Hearing of Sitting Bull's death, Bigfoot led his people south to seek protection at the Pine Ridge Reservation. The US Army intercepted the band on the 28th of December, the night before he was killed, and brought them to the edge of the Wounded Knee Creek to camp. So they were camping there that night. So the death of Chief Sitting Bull. The next morning, Chief Sitting Bull, with pneumonia and dying, sat among his warriors. Suddenly, the sound of a shot pierced the early morning. The army's machine guns attacked the Indian camp from surrounding hills. Clouds of gun smoke filled the air as men, women and children scrambled desperately for their lives. 300 Sioux had been killed by the US Army, including Chief Bigfoot. 25 soldiers died too. So because it was 300 deaths against 25 deaths, we call it a massacre and not a war, because the Sioux couldn't defend themselves. The massacre at Wounded Knee effectively ended the ghost dance movement and ended the Indian Wars. It was the final stand. Okay, so we've covered all of the st all of what we need to go over for today's video, and I've taught you through the story of the ghost dance and the Wounded Knee Massacre. Here are four quick questions to check you've picked the key points up from today's video. I have gone through it at a rather uh, rapid speed, so you may need to go over the information once or twice, or download the notes from the website, Revised GCSE History. Okay, so, the answers to these questions. You may wish to have answered them yourself, but if not, we'll do them together. Question 1. What were special ghost shirts supposed to do? Well, they were supposed to protect the Indians.
from the bullets. of the US Army. So they believe that they won't be killed by the bullets of the US Army when they wore these shirts. They were wrong about that, of course. Question 2. Where was Chief, uh, where was Chief Sitting Bull killed by the US Cavalry? He was killed at the Standing Rock Reservation. Hearing of Sitting Bull's death, uh, Chief Bigfoot went somewhere to seek protection. Where was this place? That's question 3. Where did he go to seek protection? He went to the Pine Ridge Reservation. And finally, question four. What did the massacre at Wounded Knee effectively help to do? Well, it ended the Ghost Down movement. And it also ended the Indian Wars. There we are. Okay, just squeeze that in. Alright, so thank you for watching this video today. There are the answers to these quick four questions. I do hope that you found it useful. If you have, please visit me. <laughs> Try again. If you have, please visit my website, revise at gcsehistory.co.uk, where you can access more revision videos like this and become a member for a one-off payment, payment of just five pounds, and access a comprehensive range of videos on exam technique and much more. Thank you for watching, see you guys soon.